Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. I am here to present another video on Apache Scoop. In today's video, I uh, will let you know that how one can export the data. In the previous video, uh, we have discussed about import, that how we can uh, import data from the uh, MySQL to SDFS. Now this video will do the reverse, right? Uh, we will be having some data in SDFS and we will be moving that data to the MySQL. So it's just uh, like a similar process, uh, but the little modification in the existing command that we have learned in the um, scoop import, right? Uh, you can see on the front of your screen right now, this is the official documentation page. Uh, you can refer this page if you need some more reference. Though actually I'm not using all the parameters here because just it's just a first video. So I'll be just using the parameters which are mandatory. Okay, I'm just ignoring some optional parameters, but still for your reading purpose or reference purpose, you can refer this link. This is the official page of Apache Scoop. So let's start uh, that how we can do this exporting stuff. Okay, so first of all, we need to open up the MySQL. So let me open this MySQL. It is opening up. Okay, now in this case, let me use my database, which is E1. Okay, the data, database has been changed. Now we need to make a table, right? Uh, because now the process is we need to make a table and will not be inserting any data. The data will be inserted from the file which is in the SDFS. Okay, so we'll be populating the we'll, we'll be populating the table with the data which is in the SDFS. So for the uh, table creation, I've already written the syntax. So I'll be using the syntax in which I'll be having a table name which is ABCD, which will be having five columns. So let me paste it just to reduce the time. So save the time here, right? You can see we have a five columns ID, which is primary key. So that ID will be unique. Uh, we have a name of well care, profile, salary, and department. Okay, you can see on the screen, I've got a few form, query, okay, no issues. Okay, so I'm also having a data ready. Data is in the form of this. I'm just, uh, just for the sake of simplicity, I'm just in, want to insert single record. Uh, which we have written here the first column ID name profile uh, salary and the, the department right okay so how we can do the export process I've written the command here you can see you will not be finding any major change in the existing uh, import command just a one change instead of import we have export now instead of the import the this the target dir we have a export dir rest everything is same you can see the same connection string mysql localhost e1 database name bind directory where we have a, a jar files available i have referred that lib and the username is amrit uh, password 123 table name is abcd and export dir where we want to export so we are having these parameters right it is a similar parameters that i have used in the previous video so that's the reason i'm not explaining it again although it's quite uh, like uh, easy right to understand still i'm just recalling it connection connect stands for a connection string right jdbc string uh, i'm referring because we are using mysql this is a mysql is a keyword as i'm working on local machine local host that's the reason i'm specifying my database name under which the table abcd is present bind dir meaning is binding directory and uh, it is referring to that uh, directory uh, where i'm having all the jars available because uh, while installing mysql we have copied the uh, mysql connector file under this lib that's the reason we are referring this and we are specifying my credential username and password then the table where we need to insert our data and last is where we have our data okay so let me copy that and simply paste it on a a terminal let me open up a new terminal okay first of all uh, just to make you see that uh, that this table is empty just to verify um, first do the select star in front of you select star from a b c d it is empty right now once i do the export process it will be populated with the one record okay enter because as i've already explained in previous video as well the apache school works on a top of Hadoop MapReduce, that's the reason behind the scenes you can see the uh, uh, MapReduce working here, right? So let me check that whether record is available here or not. Still it's not available, let me check for the error. What error I got here? Okay, let me run it again to check if there is some error.
yep it is not done yes you can see now that i have the record available like the data has been copied from the uh, the location sr to the table abcd because i've encountered little error here it was not an error maybe uh, this the some uh, system generated some error but it was not a major error because i've just run the command again so it start working now because here you can see here that we have the data which has been written here right you can see the number of bytes read by the mapper and reducer so you can see this is the same screen you will get in the MapReduce program also so this marks the end of this video in which i have successfully like uh, exported a record from sdfs to the table abcd i hope uh, you must have understood the uh, the contents of the video uh, still if you have any doubt any confusion just let me know thanks for watching see you in next video